who gets colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer occurs most often in people age 50 and older. The risk increases with age. Both men and women can get colorectal cancer. The American Cancer Society predicts that 2,370 new cases and 880 deaths due to colorectal cancer will occur in South Carolina each year. The Center for Colon Cancer Research at USC has about two dozen laboratories run by faculty in various departments from around the university, so it's very interdisciplinary as people from biology, chemistry, public health, medical school, um, pharmacy, uh, all working toward doing basic research, trying to understand the biological nature of colorectal cancer. The Center for Colon Cancer Research at the University of South Carolina was created with the expressed purpose of providing new investigators with the guidance, financial support, and frontline research technologies needed to make breakthrough discoveries that will lead to improved methods for prevention, diagnosis, and treatment of colorectal cancer. At the Biorepository, we collect tissue and data from patients with cancer. We then give these to cancer researchers. I've studied regulation of skeletal muscle mass. It became very clear as maintaining muscle mass and body weight on individuals improves health outcomes related to these conditions. And what's really become clear in the last 10 years is that this is also true of cancer patients. If we increase or maintain body weight in cancer patients and increase skeletal muscle mass, that health outcomes will improve and uh, we were able to do that. CCCR is the first of its kind in South Carolina and is a driving force leading the development of innovative and groundbreaking research in colorectal cancer. My research is more in line with social and behavioral science research or community level health promotion. We're a collection of multiple individuals that work primarily in different areas looking at one particular disease. I'm able to work side by side with basic scientists who are trying to figure out new ways to prevent colon cancer earlier. The Center for Colon Cancer Research was founded in 2002 by Dr. Franklin G. Berger. The center was established with an $11 million grant from the National Institutes of Health. It was the largest grant the university had received to date. I lost my mom to stage four colorectal cancer in 2002. Um, when I was a sophomore in college and I realized the value of outreach and research and I met these two amazing people Angie Davis and Frank Berger and they um, offered me an opportunity to collaborate with them on some great outreach opportunities. So the Center for Colon Cancer Research started in 2006 with our awareness programs and what we did was we reached out to the whole state. We invited um, physicians, researchers, academics, survivors, um, community leaders. We were able to define what our needs are in the state. My father died from metastatic colorectal cancer and being involved in, ca in colon cancer research allows me to help members of my family know how to prevent this from going on and to uh, develop methods for early detection. My husband passed away with colon cancer, so he battled that for about a year, and um, it was quite an experience, and I wish I had known more about preventative care. My work in fashion is my passion, and I love it, but my true job, I believe, is my advocacy for colon cancer research. Cancer impacted my life. Um, I didn't have a father figure, so when I was signed by the Carolina Panthers. It was for me to be drawn to some male figure that, that helped me out. His name was Ron McKee. And in 2006, uh, I found out that Ron, um, the cancer came back. You know, it's hard because I saw Ron die uh, right in front of my eyes. I saw a man that, you know, I looked at as my father figure, um, you know, watch that cancer kind of overtake him. Uh, later that year, you know, we buried Ron. Um, we uh, just didn't have the medicine. Uh, just wasn't available for him uh, to get healthy. Now they do. Well, I think there's a really important um, aspect to basic science because this is these are the building blocks that we're going to need eventually for translational medicine. There's a really strong graduate student base here, and not only can we work together as graduate students, but also um, there's great mentorship. The Cancer Center is one of a select few in the nation 
focused exclusively on this preventable disease. The concentration of scientists all working on colorectal cancer is, is very unique nationally. There are not many places that have this kind of co focus and concentration. So the focus of our research is looking at at certain genes that are involved in particular involved in inflammation and why these genes are overexpressed in colon cancer and we're trying to identify the, the mechanisms that aren't working in the cells that control these genes and by doing that we're hopefully going to identify some new therapeutic targets that we can uh, use to combat this terrible disease. bringing the fruits of scientific research to the community. If everybody got screened appropriately, we could lower colon cancer deaths in this state and in this country by probably two-thirds or more. And with, and with increases in technology, we can probably get to a point where we can reduce it by 100% so that we can wipe out the disease. I really believe that that could be the eventual outcome of all this work.